Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Modern War issue number one from September through October 2012. It's a special edition with a historical game. Actually, every issue of this you can get with a historical game, but the game is Red Dragon Green Crescent Naval Warfare in the 21st Century. This is the second one of these I've owned. I owned one uh, when this magazine first came out. I had a subscription for, I forget, it was the first four or first five issues. So let's take a look at the components. Include some bonus counters here. Uh, I can't remember if the bonus counters were already punched when you got them or not. I don't, I, I don't know where the original issue of this is that I got, but anyhow, these ones are punched. And here it's just talking about the bonus counters. And here it's also got some variant counters here for issues 1, 3, 6, and 8. Let's take a look at the counters here. They're 5 8 inch counters. And the artwork looks pretty decent. It's got some cyber war counters here, some satellite counters here and stuff. A lot of them are double sided. Here's the other uh, one. Singapore, Philippines, Vietnam, uh, those are all considered neutral. Interesting stuff. Let's take a look at the maps. There's two of them, if I recall correctly. They're big maps. Up here on the top, it's got the initial Chinese setup table, initial Chinese, that's for the East Asia map, and a setup table for the Green Crescent Indian Ocean map, and a Korean War resolution table. Artwork on the map looks pretty good. And down here it's got initial U.S. and Allied setup for the East Asia map and initial, initial U.S. and Allied setup for the Green Crescent Indian Ocean map. Let's take a look at the other map now. I don't believe I ever played this game. Um, I think I was intending, it's one of these things where I was intending to and never did. You guys know how that is with games. So on the top here it's got an action and operation table with quite a bit of stuff to choose from. A terrain identifier key, marker holding box, Indo-Pakistan war box, unit combat factor placement shirt. And once again the terrain looks good. My wife must be coming home, the dog is barking. And here's a NATO holding box. And down here it's got a neutral setup table and another marker holding box. Let's take a look at the rules now. Alrighty, this is starting with an introduction here, and it says uh, Red Dragon Green Crescent is a strategic level conflict simulation of hypothetical future conflicts in and around the Asian continent, Indian Ocean, and Middle East. The time frame is in that too distant future, roughly between 2012 and the end of 2021, so this is actually still current. The game system is based on the proven Charles S. Roberts uh, award-winning design that first appeared in Strategy and Tactics number 250 and is adaptable for two players, multi player and solitaire play. Let's take a look through here. Alright, so there's no fog of war in the game. Interesting. Alright, so the ships have an anti-ground combat factor, anti-air combat factor, unit type, anti-surface ship factor, and anti-submarine factor, and a nationality. Looks like it's got ground units too. Talking about carrier-based aircraft. All right, here's the sequence of play. That's what we're interested in. Chinese first, who's the first player? Random events pre-check. Then Chinese random event resolution. Chinese first player apps. U.S. who's the second player? Random event pre-check. And U.S. second player random event resolution. And U.S. second player apps. And going over random events. Uh, stacking. It's going over here. And it's going over different restrictions depending on what area you're in. Philippines, Korea, Russia, and restrictions, all sorts of stuff. There's quite a bit going on in here, it looks like. And now it's going over different operations. Going over movement here. All right, and here's the Red Dra Dragon Rising scenario, which uses just the East Asia map. And here's the Green Crescent scenario that's in the Indian Ocean, with the Indian Ocean map. There's quite a bit to this.
Oh, it looks like it's got tournament rules too. Interesting. And here's your victory point track. Eh, it would have been nicer if that was on the map, I would say. But I guess you could photocopy it. And here's where uh, People's Republic of China keeps track of their apps and the Allies keep track of their apps. Cool. Just wanted to show you guys this. Like I said, I never got a chance to try it, and I think this is actually the second time I've owned it. So if any of you have tried it, please chime in and let us know how you liked it. And wanted to let you guys know I am selling used games on my website now, so I will put a link to the page where I'm selling the used games in the description for this video. Thanks a lot, and if you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.